Secunia Personal Software Inspector will scan your computer for unpatched security threats. Now, when you start the program, you have a very simple interface and you can set it to show only easy to patch programs. Click on the simple tab. If you use the advanced one, ensure these two options are ticked. Start PSI on boot and enable program monitoring. Now the simple interface, as you can see, will just show a very simple interface where you can download the solutions or go to the help and support forums. We'll go back to the advanced interface. Now here I leave mine set to enable the monitoring etc. In the taskbar there's that small icon. Now go to the Secunia profile, enter a username, your name and an email address and it must be a valid one. Save the profile, this connects to Secunia's secure servers. Click on scan and then start scan, it doesn't take very long. It will download the search rules, it will search any hard drives that you have attached and turned on. It will collect information from files, operating system, missing Microsoft patches. It will match the data with the Secunia file signatures engine and it will show you the insecure programs. Now here we have two, Adobe Reader 7 and Internet Explorer. Just go down, click on download solution and then either run or save the program. In this instance I'll save it. Microsoft Internet Explorer, click on download solution. This will open up Internet Explorer and take you to the Windows Update site and you have the choice of Express or Custom. I choose Custom because that's what suits me. Uh, for most of you Express will do fine. Review and install the updates. There's the Internet Explorer patch which is mit missing. So I go ahead, install them and then let it take its time. It's prompting to restart which I won't do at the moment. I will close that one. Now these two have been downloaded, they have been patched. I need to run the Adobe Reader 7 installer to install that one. Now whilst that's doing that, you can look at any end of life programs you may have and you have the option you can remove these. If you expand the boxes and go to the bottom you can ignore the program, add remove the program, open the folder, you can view the technical details which show you the version detected, the installation path and the last inspection of the program. You can get online references to the program, you can rescan the program, you can use the solution wizard. Now this one you simply follow through by clicking next. If your firewall needs permission then give it permission. Okay, click next you get the same option to run or save the program. I've already done this so I will come out of that. We'll minimize these windows again. If you need any further support visit and join the community forum. They have a lot of answers there. Now rescanned afterwards and you can view the patched programs. There's nothing insecure, nothing end of life. So the two patches have been applied and your computer is then safe. If you want any more information visit my blog which is Free PC Security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk